Today we are going to learn Psalm 1 to 1. We're going to talk about Psalm 1 to 1. So I hope all of you are now in Psalm 1 to 1. And um, I'm going to just call Psalm 121. So I'm going to call on Ruth to read. Ruth, where are you? I'm here, Ma. Okay, go on, read Psalm 1 to 1. It's a short one, so read, read it all. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even from forevermore. Amen. 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 I like this. We always, we call this Psalm, uh, it's one of the Psalms of protection. And if you read, if you see what Ruth read there, you can see why it is called the Psalm of protection. Who has a different version from what Ruth read? Who has in your Bible a different version? Giovanni, do you have a different version? Yeah, shalom, shalom. All right. Okay. Read yours. Or did, you, did you want to say something? I saw your hand up before. No, I just forgot to put it down. All right, okay. So if your version is different, can I hear it? It's a short psalm, but I want to hear the different version. And I want all of you to be listening, okay? Listening because the more you read it in different versions, the more you're understanding what you're reading, okay? Go on, Giovanni. Yeah, I will put my eyes to the mountains. Mm. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You will not let your foot slip. He, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. Lord will watch over your soul and going, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I like that. So let's take it one after the other. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Ruth, what, what did your version say for verse one? I will lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? Um, my own version says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. To the hill from, from whence, whence comes my help. help. So it's it's the same thing saying that see when I'm in when I feel in trouble when I feel sad when I feel I need to hear from God when I want to call on my Maker and my God I will lift up my eyes to the hills to the heavens you know it's 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 the same thing it's signifying the mountains is signifying the heavens I will lift up my eyes to the heavens because you know and and it it continues to say where does my help come from. It's a rhetorical question saying, where does my help come from? And the, the next verse answers you where the help, where my help comes from. But he knows where his help comes from. He says, verse two says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So when you feel sad, when you feel you need to hear from God, when you feel like talking to someone and maybe you're on your bed and you're about to sleep, where does your help come from? Where does your help come from? Pelumi, where does your help come from? You're on mute. Where does your help come from? Our help comes from God's helping us. Our help comes from God. Our help comes from God. That's what that is what verse 2 says. And what and who is God? The maker of the heavens and the earth, the maker of the whole world, the maker of the universe. This is the God that we serve. We don't serve a man-made God. We don't serve things. We don't serve money. We don't serve things around us. We serve a God that created all these things that you have. He's the creator of the, he's, he's the creator of the heavens and the earth. Let's be let's understand this that when you know that you serve a God that is bigger than you 
bigger than your parents, bigger than your nation, bigger than the whole world, you know that you're in safe hands, isn't it? I mean, when you know that this is the God that created you, you should have, you should feel safe. And you should call upon God. And that is what this verse 1 to 2 says. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. I will lift up my eyes to God. Where does my help come? My help comes from God. And number and verse 3 is telling us, He will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Who can tell me what you think when you hear that kind of, when you hear this verse that we just read? He will not let your foot to sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. Treasure? Treasure? I think that it means that he will protect you no matter what and that he never sleeps. Oh, wow. That is so true. Blessing. Go on. Blessing. Go on. Tell me, what do you think about when you hear this? He will not let your foot to sleep. He he always with us. He, he will not leave us. He so will Yes. Away. Yes. 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 He is always with us. He will not leave us no matter what. God what? God is always with us. Jimmy, are you here with me? Because I can see you smiling. I hope you're smiling because of this verse that we're reading. I hope you're 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 um you're getting it you're understanding this god that we serve that he watches over us he will not slumber he will not sleep emmanuel i can see your hand do you want to say something um, he will always it means he will always be watching us every day yes this is with the kind of God we serve. It's not like a security man or a you know a man that you know that sleeps. Every human being sleeps, isn't it? You feel sleepy. You're a human being. You are you are you're made to sleep. But God is much more than this. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. I mean he doesn't just fall asleep and forget that, oh, I'm watching over um Ibuku today, I'm I'm watching over Isabel today or Chidera. He's not thinking, he's not saying he's he's not um off and on duty he's always always watching over his children always watching over his children same thing in verse 5 he says the lord watches over you the lord is your shade at your right hand the sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night now he's talking practical he's telling you how god is watching over you you know when you see the sun and the sun is so hot. You know, this this pas this passage, um, this um psalm was really written when the um children of Israelites used to go on, used to take a long journey to Jerusalem to go and worship God in those days. And because it was a long journey, this psalm really applied to them because it was always so hot and sunny, and they had a dangerous journey to go on. But be but this was this was um a comfort to them. This kind of um, psalms was written as a comfort to them to remind them of who their God is. And this applies to each and every one of us today. That when you're going through those tough times, maybe in your class, maybe you're giving a, a, a um, you know, you're giving a work to do and you're like, oh gosh, I've forgotten how to do this. Or, oh, it seems so difficult. You remember my help comes from God. Oh Lord, I lift my eyes up unto you. Father, give me wisdom. A simple prayer like that can open your eyes to see what God really wants you to do, to, to open your, your mind, to understand what you are, you are, you are doing. You know, you're not just mere human, uh, human beings. You are serving a living God and he wants you to call upon him. Now, in those days, because of they used to go on this journey, the sun was always there. And so they, they, they use this illustration saying that even as the sun is so hot, it will not hurt me to not, you know, harm me because God is my shade. You know, when, um, when the sun is too hot, you see people with their sunglasses and you see them with their umbrellas. How, how many of you, if, if you live in Nigeria, you understand how hot it can get. If you live in the UK and the sun comes out, you understand when you see people with their glasses. Or if you live abroad, you understand when you see people with dark glasses, and, you know, they're hiding from the sun, even though they like the sun. This is very hot climate they were in and the sun was always so hot so they they use this analogy saying just that the sun is there and and we need a shade to hide ourselves from the sun it's the same way god 
is our shade. He keeps us safe from any hurt, from any problem, from any trouble. God is our shade. Do you understand? Are you understanding it? That God is the one that protects us. He watches over us. Just as the, you, you have a shade, you have to go under the shade. You know, to, to hide from the sun. Same way you have your God that is like a shade that protects you from evil, protects you from danger. So this is a very important, important verse. I saw peace hand up and somebody else says, I can't remember. Peace, what were you about to um, say? So I was, I was going to say that um, when you were talking about um, when it says, um, um, the Lord will not let you fall. I was going to say, I was going to like give an example. Like there was this day I was in school and I was about to um, like slip over my foot. And mm. one of my friends were able, caught me before I was able to fall. You, you can just look at that. Look at that's a very good analogy. Okay. She was about to fall and her friend caught her, you know, before she fell. How much more God, this kind of thing happens. Like sometimes you'd be like, oh God, I nearly... Have you heard um, maybe somebody, maybe your parent or, 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 you know, uncle or auntie say, oh, I nearly had an accident or I nearly, nearly, it could have, this could have happened to me, but God saved me. You know, God is always our ever present help. What do we mean by that? That he's never late. God is always on time. He catches you when you're, you are about to fall. If you can only listen to him, he will let you know when you're about to go into danger. God speaks to his children. He doesn't hide his face from his children. He protects them. Just like the shade protects you from the sun, God protects you from danger. God protects you from danger. Jimmy, I can see you talking. I hope you're talking about this psalm. I can see you talking. I hope you're not talking to Michael or, you know, I hope you're listening. So very important. Tell me, I can see your hand up again. You want to talk about what you just said now? Uh, so, not that long ago, I think it was yesterday, we had this chocolate. My, me and my sister were fighting, and my, when my mom was holding it, and it, the chocolate fell from my hand and it split, and I feel like God was the one who did it. <laughs> that, is, that is so good. Sometimes, it's good for you to look at these little things, where you see God in the little things in your life. The, the, you know, God is not just... He doesn't just care about things out there. You know, we know that there are things happening all around the world. We hear about the war and the things that are happening and we're praying for God to intervene. But God also cares about little me, little you. You know, he cares about these little things like little chocolates. You know, he cares about you so much that it's good for you to look for God in the little things in your life. Because when you can see God in the little things in your life, it expands your eyes to see God in the big things in the world. So I like that example you gave, Pelemi. I like it that you can see God in the little things. Because when your eyes are open to these little things that God is doing in your life, when you can see it and appreciate it, you see the big things that God is doing. Okay? So oh, my family knows this. It's, um, Oh, yes, yes. I mean, that's, that's really a good, a good way of seeing things that are happening. God is so good and he moves in mysterious ways. God is always there. He takes care of, the Bible says that he takes care of the little details that con concerns us. It's written in the word of God that he takes care of the little details that concerns us. And this is like a little detail. God takes care of it. So don't be afraid to bring anything to God. Don't say, oh God, why would God care about me and my friend that uh, I don't have a friend in school? Or why would God care that people are, are talking to me anyhow in school or why would god care that i don't like um school or why would god care that i don't have a friend no god cares about everything that concerns you take it to god because he wants to protect you he wants to keep you safe he wants to keep you safe just like the shade is there to protect you from the sun god is there to protect you from everything that wants to harm you and then he finishes he says Verse 7, it says, the Lord will keep you from all harm. All harm. Did it say, I don't know. I wonder if your Bible said some harm. Did anybody's Bible say the Lord will keep you from some harm? Did, did anybody say that? Anybody's Bible? I know you have all, you all have your Bibles. Blessing, did your Bible say the Lord will keep you from some harm? What is verse 7? What, is, what does your Bible say in verse 7 of Psalm 1 to 1? What does your Bible say? Does it say some, some harm? It says all harm. All harm. It says all harm. Let, let's, let's pay attention to that. God will keep you from all harm. Abisola, what does your Bible say? All harm. Right? 
the God, Lord, the God will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. So the, the Bible didn't say only when you're good or only when you're, you know, when you have read your Bible or only when you're, you know, when you have done everything right. You are a child of God. Even when you feel like, oh, I've been naughty today. Go to God for protection. Go to God for guidance. Go to pray to your to God to protect you, to keep you safe. Don't run away from God. Don't think, oh, I'm not worthy to go to the presence of God. God wants you to run to him. God always wants you to go to him, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're facing in this life, no matter how small, no matter the little thing or the big thing, take it to God because God is the one that protects you and he wants you to call upon him. He wants you to call upon him just like the the Israelites on their journey to this long journey to Jerusalem, they always called on God. That's why they wrote this psalm to remind themselves of their God that never sleeps, that never slumbers. You should always remind yourself of the God that never sleeps, never slumbers. We don't, kids, we don't serve a, a, a little God. We don't serve a, just a mere God. This God that we serve... <laughs> He's the one that created the heavens and the earth, the stars, the moon, everything you see here. So you, 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 you should know that you serve a God that is bigger than everything, that created everything. And so you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't think that, oh, God doesn't care about me or God won't think, won't want, doesn't know about my needs. God knows everything that you're feeling, but he wants you to come to him. Come to him when you feel sad. Come to him when you need help. Come to him in every situation of your life because God loves you. He loves you and he wants you to have a relationship with him. Okay. It's not about religion that, oh, if I've read my Bible and prayed today, that means I'm a good girl and therefore God loves me. Mm -mm. He wants relationship. He wants you to talk to him at all times, to, to communicate with him, to read the word of God so that you understand who he is understand his nature i mean if blessing doesn't interact with her brother emmanuel if she stays on her own and doesn't talk to him and emmanuel stays on his own she won't really understand how emmanuel is or she would she won't really understand what makes emmanuel upset or what makes him ha you know happy but when she interacts with him because they're brothers and sisters when the more they talk the more she knows her brother she knows what her brother likes she knows what her brother doesn't like it's the same thing with your friendships you know, the more you interact with people, talk with them, you know what they like and what they don't like. It's the same thing God is calling all of us to do, to talk to him, to, to read the Bible so you understand who God is and how he can protect you, how he can be your, your father, you know, so that you can trust him, so that you can know him so much that you trust him. Is that all right, kids? Do you, did you understand everything we just um, talked about in Psalm 1 to 1? Okay, now it's over to you. Bella, I think you're going to be the first person to tell me what you learned because I can see that you're whistling. I heard your whistle. So, what did you learn, Bella? Say that again. I don't know because I came very late. Oh, yeah, because I just realized that you came in not long ago, but I can see I heard you whistling. Right, Abisola, go on. I can see your hand. <clears throat> That we should trust in God's protection. Say that again. That we should trust in God's protection. That we should trust in God's protection. Well done, you. Trust in God's protection. Um, Isabel, go on. I learned that when we need help, God will help. That if we come to God, God will help us once we need help. Yes, very true, Isabel. God will, will, God will come through to our needs. When we need help, call on him. He would help us. Um, he, Ruth? Um, what I learned is that um, God always watches over us and he never sleeps, just like um, we human does. Yes. Do. Yes, we human beings can fall asleep and say, oh, sorry, I, I forgot I was supposed to be watching the baby or something. Oh, I fell asleep. I'm sorry. You know, but God doesn't do that. God doesn't do that. God watches over us. He never sleeps. He never stumbles. So, I mean, why can't we trust in this God? 
that never sleeps and never slumbers. Sarah, go on. God will always save us when we are in danger. Yes, I love that. Just as we read in Psalm 7 and verse 7 that said, The Lord will keep you from all harm. All harm. God will always save you when you are in danger. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Thank you. Um, Emmanuel PT, go on. Go on, Emmanuel. Um, when God will always protect us, and whenever we need help, we should call on to God, and He will always help us. I love it. I love it. Yes. Let this let this sink into our heads. God loves us. He will always protect us. He wants us to call upon Him. Um, treasure. God God is our shade. Yes. Just like the sun protects us when the sun will not smite us by day, nor the moon by light. You know, when you, God is our shade, he protects us. Just like the, you, you know, you have a shade to protect yourself from the sun. God always protects us. I love that. Giovanni, did you just say, um, did you, did I just call you Giovanni? No? no. All right. Go on. Go on, Giovanni. Um, God never sleeps, God never slumbers. This is our God, our helper, okay? And um, blessing, go on. God is in your heart, okay? So if you're in any situation, just call upon God. Go to God, speak to him. He's listening. Speak to him. Open your mouth and speak to him. He's listening to you and he wants you to speak to him. Thank you, blessing. Emmanuel. I learned that God never ever sleeps and he is our shade. He's our shade and he never ever sleeps. Well done, you. Bella. I think we learned about that. Uh, that um, God will help us, and He never sleeps, and He He always watch watches over us. Okay, okay. Um, he always watches over us. Where is Joseph? Is Joseph back? Is Joseph around? Okay, I can't see Joseph. Yeah. Okay, so Joseph, what did you learn? Where are you? Yeah, where are you? Right, jo Joseph is not here. Okay, I thought he said he's back. Right, he, um, Chidera, go on. I'm here. I learned, I learned that... Uh, Sorry, that Joseph, God, I just saw you. I'll call you after Chidera. Okay. I learned that God always watches over you, no matter what, even in the worst situations. Yes, God always watches over you, no matter what the situation is. God always watches over you. Joseph, go on. Um, that um, um, at the beginning of the pilgrimage in the um, region of the Judean hills, the pilgrim recognizes that the Lord is the one who can give him the help he needs so that he should basically trust in the Lord and he will bring um, like protection day and night. Right, protection day and night. Um, he gives us protection day and night. I like what you said there, um, Joseph, about protection day and night. That's why he never sleeps, he never slumbers, because it's, it's an all-round protection that he gives us. Just as he gave the Israelites when they were going to Jerusalem, on their way to Jerusalem, they knew that their God was always with them. It's the same way now our God is always always with us he never sleeps he never slumbers shino and ibuku i can see that you are playing now is your turn to tell me what you've learned um i learned that god will always protect us and he won't leave us god will always protect us and he will not leave us he always protects us and he will not leave us well done you um peace have I called you? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> so, 
the Lord will not let us fall out, fall down, mm. because he's, he is not like one of, one of the us that can like change if we want. We can change from being good to bad or bad to good. But God is like, he stays the same. Yeah, God is the same. God never changes. And that's so, so good about the God that we serve. He's not like a human being that will lie today or tell you this tomorrow, tell you that tomorrow. He is the same. And so that is why we can put our trust in God and have the relationship that we have with him. And when we have done something wrong and when we feel that we uh, we have done something wrong, we should run to God and ask him for forgiveness and have that relationship. Just like when you annoy your mom, do you 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 go to God and uh, your mom and say, "Mommy, sorry for what? I, sorry, I did that, or sorry, I said that, or sorry, I messed up your room, or sorry, I whatever you did to your mom." Okay, you you go to her and say, "Sorry, mommy," and you and and because you want to continue that relationship, you don't run away from your mom and say, "Oh, I'm going to leave the house and run from my mom." And you you though there might be consequences, though she might be upset with you for what you did, but you go to her and talk to her. That's relationship. Okay, same way you go to God. Talk to God because he wants to always protect you. Okay. Um, Jimmy, go on. I learned that God is God, that God will protect me every every time and he never sleeps. Yes, God will protect us every time and he never sleeps. God helps us in every time. He protects us even during the tough times, during the hard times, during the difficult times. Name, I want you guys to think about the times that you have felt sad. Think about those times you felt sad. Those times you felt that you need help. Those times you felt, you know, angry or you, you need God. That is when you need to start learning to call on God at those times because he's there for you. My help comes from God. Let me remind you of that verse 2 we had, we read. I want you people to learn that verse 2. Olufisayo, um, okay, I've muted it. I want you to learn that verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. That will be your memory verse for this week. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I want you to always remember where your help comes from. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Can we all say that together? Verse 2. My help, my help, 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 help. Blessing, I can't hear you. Okay, I'm going to say one, two. Okay, I'm going to say one, two, ready, go. And you all say it together. One, two, ready, go. Good. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Don't you ever forget that, that he protects us. Whatever situation you're facing, whatever tough time you, you're facing, whatever sad time you're facing, whatever fallout you might have with your friend, whatever situation you're facing as... In the playground, in the school, at home, you know, maybe you've done something wrong and you're thinking, how am I going to tell my mom that I did this? Or how am I going to tell my mom that I just, um, you know, spoiled her, whatever, you know, I've broken something. Ask God for help and he will give you help on how you can call upon God. Is that all right, everyone? Right. Who hasn't, who hasn't spoken? Sarah, mute your mic. Sarah, mute your mic. Um, Olufisayo, Dara, see me. Um, David A, do you want to say something? If David is here, I can't see him. Um, do you want to say what you've learned? Um, okay, your, your, your cameras are off, so I can't even see if you're there or not. Peculiar. Um, so, right, so... It's this this psalm is very important. I want us to to learn that psalm one to one, um, as well as go to your um their activities in your prayer book. Okay, um, the, the uh, activity assignments for you to do in your prayer book. We're, we're going to pray in a minute. 